A praying mantis is secreting something from the tip of its abdomen. What could this be? Vicious Today, I've prepared a very small nymph for us to observe a praying mantis. Isn't he cute? Mantises are often kept as pets because they have a cool appearance and are active predators. I gave Alexander a mealworm. See how they hunt? They are extremely quick, aren't they? By watching them in slow motion, I can finally keep up with their movements. The praying mantis has thorns on its sickle-shaped forelegs and catches its prey by clasping it tightly with these limbs. A closer examination under a microscope reveals that the praying mantis captures its prey this way, then uses its powerful jaws to chew and eat. They can also be seen eating prey by slicing it in half and grasping the pieces with both arms like this. Isn't that cool? By the way, unlike butterflies and beetles, young praying mantises look almost the same as adults. This is a characteristic of insects that undergo incomplete metamorphosis, where they become adults without passing through a pupal stage. Instead of a pupal stage, they grow gradually, shedding their skin like this. Here is a molted shell of a praying mantis. Though young and adult mantises look similar, young ones actually lack wings, which only form when they molt into adults. Interesting, isn't it? Did you know that the cool and cute Alexander is taxonomically very close to cockroaches? Indeed, praying mantises, like cockroaches, belong to the insect family Mimidae and share many similarities in body structure and behavior. A friend caught three adults and sent them to me. So let's explore more secrets about the praying mantis using these adults. However, right after I received the praying mantis, I witnessed a shocking scene. One mantis started secreting something from the tip of its abdomen, so I rushed to film this scene. And it was quite mysterious. A white, foam-like substance emerged from the tip of its abdomen, and the praying mantis began to accumulate this substance, forming something. Over time, the secreted substance hardened and assumed a distinct shape. Surprisingly, this is the sac containing the praying mantis eggs. The female secretes a foamy substance along with her eggs through the ovipositor, and this pouch containing the eggs is called an egg sac. Cockroaches, like praying mantises, also secrete an egg sac to house their eggs. Their behaviors are quite similar, aren't they? The air layer inside these egg sacs maintains the proper temperature and humidity, helping the eggs survive the cold winter. Amazing, isn't it? Let's return to examining the body structure of the praying mantis. Though they might look intimidating, mantises are surprisingly docile when you handle them from behind the thorax. With its triangular head, a praying mantis can rotate its head 180 degrees. The head features a pair of long antennae and two compound eyes, each with a black spot that resembles a pupil. This segment is called a pseudopupil, which is quite different from a real eye, as light is absorbed and reflected by the numerous facets of the praying mantis's compound eye. Some areas absorb all the light, appearing as black dots. These are the parts that resemble eyes. Fascinating, isn't it? Between the compound eyes are also three simple eyes. Moreover, the praying mantis has a long, segmented thorax. This structure allows its six legs to grow quite long. On top of its thorax are wings, quite similar to those of cockroaches. Both praying mantises and cockroaches have overlapping wing coverings and hind wings beneath. Many might think praying mantises can't fly, but they can jump short distances and even fly over greater ones. When sensing danger, they spread their wings and raise their front legs to appear larger. Lastly, the abdomen of the praying mantis is segmented, with females having six segments and males eight. Males have more segments, because during mating, they bend their abdomen like a bow to transfer sperm to the female. Near the tip of the abdomen, each sex has a pair of antennae-like tactile organs, 
which help them locate each other's genitalia during mating without needing to see. Curious, right? It's well known that female praying mantises sometimes eat their mates, but this doesn't always happen. It's more likely when the female is undernourished. While most mantises in the wild die during the winter, their eggs in the egg sacs survive, hatching in spring to grow into adults. This is the life of the praying mantis, a truly fascinating insect. After our observations, the mantises were returned to nature. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science uncovers the mysterious.